You know, sometimes it's like a toxic masculinity. Like, you just see five dudes being mad supportive. The weakest one, they don't care. They're all very showing a lot of praise. They show in love. They're pushing each other to do more and do better. Because they talk about gym bro, the gym bro mentality. But in my experience, the ones who are most accepting of fat people, of skinny people, of people who are trying to better their lives in a real genuine way where they show effort, they show interest, they're consistently being supportive. And my experience, the only space that I've ever seen be that supportive have been gym bro uh, spaces. We brought together five men and had them rank each other based on their perceived strength. Then we put them to the test to reveal their actual strength. This is ranking. Yeah, as cliche and corny it is to say, and I hate saying it, it's um, working out as a lifestyle. Bruh. I schedule my workouts and it's kind of like, oh, like Isaac, you want to do this? I'm like, okay, I got to make sure like it's not interfering with my, with my workout time. Working yeah, out is 100% a lifestyle. It's, it is. You, the minute you just, I got to wake up in the morning to work or you put some, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. It's something like every day that you look forward to doing. I would say it's between working out and, and gaming. The guy on the far left looks very military. Lifting heavy. I started actually weightlifting when I was in high school. I had the reputation of being the guy that was bigger. Just kind of kept that going. Yeah, I was um, also in eighth grade. It was during the summer, and I was at a pool party with all my friends. We were just like jumping up down the pool, like just having a great time. And then one of the girls that I had a crush on was like, "Hey, Edward, carry me, throw me into the pool." And I was like, "All right." <laughs> I got this girl. Just go into the pool. I'm about to go, and she's like, "Oh my God, Edward, stop." Stop. I'm just like, oh, what happened? And she's like, you're shaking so much. <laughs> like, I don't feel comfortable in your arms right now. I'm just like, oh man. After that, I just went home. Just <laughs> out, man. Yup. And be those kinds of moments that you remember forever, bro. They just be changing you. Yup. It do be like that. It do be like that. It do be like that. Bro. There's those little moments where they make a comment. I remember one time I was in PE class, okay? I was like maybe, I had to have been 15. You know what I mean? I was fresh off the boat from Ethiopia. You know, maybe a buck 40 soaking wet, okay? And I mean, I'm over there just chilling in PE class. Everybody got their shorts. We're all doing physical ed. <laughs> and this girl back here, she said, hey, I have what I'm saying. You remember the name? Hey, 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 it's okay. You know, you know it went, hey. you know it hit. Hey, 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 hey. And she's like, yo. And she just sat on my lap. And I was like, hey. You know what I mean? Instant boner. And I'm, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm playing it cool. Yeah. And she's talking to me. Bro, it took like none but 10 seconds for my leg to be like. <sighs> It's like, are you okay? Why are you shaking? Are you nervous? I'm like, nah. I wasn't nervous. Under pressure. <laughs> she just weighed a little bit more than I expected. <laughs> what happens? You're nervous? No, fat bitch. <laughs> you just a little hefty. Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. She wasn't fat. I was just mad skinny. That was what it was. Hey, listen. There's moments in my life where I, as, a man, as an older man, I can appreciate those moments now. And I'm not even mad at them when I'm like, I ain't strong enough for this, you know? When a six foot tall Amazonian woman says, oh, I like to be picked up, and I'm like, word, and I just move on from that like I didn't hear it, I know what it is. <laughs> She's like, I like to get picked up. Hey. Like, okay, I'll go get my car. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, I asked her, like, what are you into? What do you like when you're with a guy? You know, like when y'all making love. And she said, like, I like to get picked up. And I was like, word, moving on. Because that's never going to happen with me. Oh, we're going to have love on a forklift. Because, <laughs> bitch, it's not happening. It cannot be me. Yeah, I'm what about sorry. You? Uh, um, <laughs> uh, when I was pretty young, um, I got very into beat. What's your story? I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> I got very into video games and I, I started playing like Star Wars and Lara Croft. What really got me into it was I was actually bullied ever since I was in elementary because I was always like a bigger, taller kid. Mm. And all my friends were like, oh, dude, Isaac, you're so big. Like, I bet like, I bet you're so strong. And then they would actually end up physically hurting me. Like, I didn't know what to do. And so as I got older, like in middle school, that's when I was like, okay, I gotta change something. And so I started lifting then. When I squat, bench, deadlift as heavy as possible, that's when I feel really empowered. No, I'm yeah. so sorry about that. That yeah. happened to you because no one should be shamed for how they look. You tell them, Short King, nobody. <laughs> nobody, Short King. I was thinking the same goddamn thing. Hey, I ain't mad at him. You know what, these guys are being very positive and uplifting, so it's good. Just to put it out there, I think I'm just gonna rank myself as the least strongest. Oh my God, Edward, stop. You're shaking so much. I will go that way too. I don't, don't want to be. Just, I, I don't. For me, I think 
It's between you two. No. I feel like you you just have a lot of knowledge and you know a lot and your motivation. I just feel like you're you're up there. Well, but then you just like look at your closet. <laughs> look at your You also got them fucking suction suction cup marks and you wearing a tank top. That ain't by no accident. You had to let him know, bitch, you know how much I be lifting? I gotta take care of this body. Body adi adi. So, Is that so, what they say? So, I don't know. Come on. I feel like that's your department. No, that's not my Body adi adi? That's not my department. Come on. That sounds like in your department though. That's not. That sounds like some some Caribbean body adi adi, no? <laughs> that sounds like that's the yeah. stage. That's no Caribbean right there. I feel like I walked by a dance hall place and heard that one time. No, yardy, no. yes. Okay. But not body and body and yardy? No, adi. No, we not body yardy? Yeah. Bad man no arty, why you talk about man? <laughs> Body yaddy and, and Caribbean, that's really what you got. I'm pretty sure that, I that's, 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 that's the correlation I heard, I heard in that. your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you haven't. I have. Look at your guys. Have. 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 have the size of my, my thighs, I mean. <laughs> These are genetic. Bro, you could touch watermelons with those pods, man. <laughs> looks aren't everything, but you look strong. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. like, it can be deceiving. That's why I feel like we, if we have like a clear definition on what we are defining strength as. We're also gonna test ourselves with that lift. That lift. So, so I think we should we go based off of that. We ourselves with that. All right, so who do we think is going to deadlift the most? How do you feel being there? Uh, I feel like we should switch. You too? Maybe. I actually feel like the raw power and the raw strength that you have without the technique, if we just compare that, I feel like either of you two are stronger than me. Mm. I'm, I'm very unsure of that. I, I, know I don't agree, to be honest, but... For him to be in the middle, <laughs> I don't agree. I don't agree. <laughs> I like how Brandon's in last, because he put himself there, and no one's Nobody been taller. Like, yeah, he run last. And not even a bad thing. He didn't sell yeah. me on that one. <laughs> okay. I think Isaac should stay number one, though. Okay. And then and then I think these two should switch. I agree with that. That's Can I actually ask, what do you do for a living? Military. Military. Got it. <laughs> the guy on the far left looks very military. I'm just telling y'all. He did it again. I'm telling y'all. He did it again. I swear to God, you could This motherfucker is a wizard. I swear to God, sometimes you could literally walk into a, a bar and you can yes. tell based off posture, the way they look. You're yeah. just like, yeah. I could tell this dude wears his combats on a regular basis. Yes. He but, stands like it. See, forget about yeah, that. Yeah, I just, I look see, at this guy, that. the and lineup and everything is very and military. And his army. The, the, the minute you said it, I was like, you're so right. You are so right about that. The glasses, it was really creepy. The, 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 the mustache, the length of the eyes. You know what else is? The, the, no, 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 no. You know what it is? You know what it is? It's also the way they dress when they're in civilian, civilian clothes. Military guys, when they're in civilian clothes, they wear like well-fitted t-shirts and the ugliest shorts. Sub PT. Something about that. Like it's just, there's like zero fashion sense. Sub physical training. Yeah. It's, it's really that. They, they, all, they all get dressed like they bought their clothes at the canteen. Oh, that and what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a mail carrier. Mail, mail carrier. Yeah. Well, oh, that's pretty good too. I don't know. You guys, you guys walk a lot. Maybe, I, that. I feel like, well, I feel like mail, car mail carriers can't be strong because there's still a lot of lifting involved. Yeah. Like with packages that's stuff like a lot. That. But military, mm -hmm. army, or uh, army, marines? You wouldn't guess it. <laughs> oh, okay. Space. Got it. Well, you're so jacked as hell, man. <laughs> so, Yo, you gotta fight the aliens, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think switch. I switch. Yeah. Okay. And, and the thing is that the military oftentimes, oftentimes, there's something, they're functional. They're strong, but functioning strong. Jack, jack, jack pumps too much. Your heart pumps too much. Like, I've seen some jack dude, but that's not most of the people in the military. I, I feel like they're very much, correct me on that one if I'm wrong. I feel like most of the time, they're strong, but very functioning strong. You're not going to see, like, the biggest fucking legs necessarily. Nah, that's not true. What do you mean? No, nah, there's, there, there's disgustingly yoked people in the military. Is that a majority? Uh, I would tell you the amount of steroids I see in the military and heavy lifting. Never mind, man. Definitely, I disagree I heavily. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, the, the, when, I was, when I used to go to the gym, dude, them motherfuckers were really packing really? that energy. Absolutely. Yeah, you'll see a lot of big dudes. Dude, you can lift that one, man. The way you were now, one you got it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That was a good form too. There ain't nothing worse than when I watch a deadlift and somebody's back look like it's about to be broken forever. There's just some sudden, you know what they say, Snap City? That shit's so facts. There's some people when they deadlift, I be dying in socks. I'm like, bro, you deserve to have kids someday. Why are you doing this to us? You saw the dude that, that, that died recently because he was squatting? I think it was squatting 405. 
and it was just one person behind him spotting him or bar spotting him, not two people on the side. His back snapped. Okay, I don't even want to hear about this. Was that a Starbucks? Yeah. Yeah. So, Alright, I just want to add like a 10. Okay. Yeah, I think that's my max right there. Wait, is this about to be a PR? I've only held this once before. Hey, you're about to do this. Take your time. Take your time. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yup. Lock in. Come on. Lock in. Yup, 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 yup. A little bit of pressure here. Hey, easy for us. Go. 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 Body plow pressure. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's get it. Come on. 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 Let's get
It didn't look easy at all. Hey, but you need to be supportive. <laughs> you be supportive, but yeah, let's but be honest. That spine is screaming. <laughs> It's a lot of weight, and he about to make it look easy. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you. He's like carrying in weight, all of us. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, man. Yeah, yeah. Go, you about to make it look easy, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Can I get a production team to hype me up also? Disrespect this weight real quick. I'm about to kiss your hip. Nah, you got it. Let's go, let's yeah. go, let's go, man. Come on. Get dialed in. Go so lock in, baby. Of the guys who did the highest <laughs> way, that was the cleanest one. <laughs> yes, that was Clean. the cleanest one. Yeah, but he did a sumo. Right. It's a bit different. Right, but you choose the technique that you can to lift the, the weight that you can. So he did a sumo, fine. Still considered deadlift. It is, but it's not the same because I, the reason why I'm saying is if they're doing a ranking of strength and one person is doing a sumo at a higher weight, it's not the same as someone doing Fair. a regular technique, Fair. a regular deck. That's what I'm just saying. I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. It's still impressive. I'm not trying to shut up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying if they're doing the ranking. It doesn't make sense. They should all do the same technique is all yeah, I'm trying to say. I understand. What you're yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair. This was a fun experience. 525, I'm surprised it moved up a lot faster than I thought because I didn't work out this whole week. But the fact that you didn't work out this this whole week means that you're rested. Yeah, that helps. Sure, yeah. No, and I was, uh, that's what I like about uh, being fit and working out that you see other people and sometimes you judge them just because how big they are. Like I'm big, but I cannot do like weight as they do. But it's just a misconception that you think muscle, big muscles are better, but it's not about that. It's about your passion and how much time do you invest on it. Stand like this, mimic me. Just, yeah, pretty good. And then grab it from here. And then the thing is that- Just don't let your knees buckle. That's good. Don't let your knees. What are your thoughts on the video as a whole? Uh, my thoughts is um, deadlifts have the worst the worst for return on investments. <laughs> You're not a fan? It's it's just not the best for return of investment in what, like, you have more, a higher rates of uh, injuring yourself. And, yeah, I could do 425, but then, and do one rep, but then the return on that, I'd rather have a higher rep than a higher weight. Yeah, but I think yeah. this is a PR thing. For them, yeah, it's it not a workout, it's just an it achievement. Is. It is. I just say in general, me. Yeah, Yeah, not everyone's going to the gym every day doing one rep. I think most people, if they're doing a workout routine, they probably have higher volume. And yeah. But they'll do the one rep to see the strength of their progression. And it's also, there's a difference. Like, strength is so arbitrary. Like, it depends. Yeah, you could lift the most, uh -huh. but I could lift the longest. Who's really stronger? I don't know, you know? You could lift one time and after that you're gonna be dead, but there's some people like a lift and lift and lift and lift and power it through, so mm, I don't know what's gonna be the strongest, you know what I mean? It's like it's like when I was doing track, oh yeah, you're the fastest because you run, yeah, I run fast on 100 meters, but I cannot keep that up for two kilometers. Like I can't, I can't keep that up for like a mile or, 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 or a marathon or whatever, so really, who's fastest? You know what I mean? I could, I could be dead last in a long distance, but really fast. So, say a little bit of both, and then there's 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 being uh, there's people people that are big and strong, and you look at the form, and some people are just really there's being strong, but it's not it doesn't serve you any purpose. You have big muscles, you have big defined muscles and everything and stuff, and you are strong and you're able to deadlift, you're able to push, you're able to bench press, but you cannot move around and you get really tired a lot. And there's some of the people that are just a little bit more normal and are able to do all those things. So strength is very, I don't know, I'm not gonna base myself on just deadlift. It's, then again, it's a video, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think for me overall, I enjoyed it. I think it was cool watching the dynamic and I think it's cool to see one of these kinds of videos not get turned some kind of like competitive hot potato situation or really awkward or cringy, which is very supportive and cool. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's just been my experience with most gym culture. So it was cool seeing it reflected in this video as well. Got a question. Go for it. What's the problem with the, like where, what's the problem with the gym bro mentality and a gym bro? People look like they, I, I think they just, around gym, gym they, bros they, 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 like there's that. just like, 
they'll see someone with a lot of muscles and then they'll think that person is really vain or they'll see someone who works out a lot and really is can you know focused on their body and their physique and then assume like they're dumb just interested in women probably very arrogant or whatever and so that that, that, that stereotype perpetuates itself mm -hmm. but i don't know i just i've been to a lot of gyms where there's military or civilian life and i just never really saw that kind of attitude perpetuate throughout most of the gym i was actually very surprised because like i remember even when i first started lifting like the guys who'd been there for a long time doing some of the crazy exercises were just mad cool very humble um and so and yeah. also they're the first one to want to help you yes if you do something wrong. or if you want to ask for any questions or whatever they're very open um and they, so they've been hurt and they don't want to have that to happen to you so but maybe your experience in the gym is very very different than me uh but i've seen that stereotype perpetuate I just i don't i don't believe it's true um Maybe on Instagram, I guess, but real life is just not my reality. So I don't think that Instagram is necessarily real life for anything. But sure, you at some point you started to train a lot mm -hmm. after the leg incidents, and when, what you stopped at some point. No, no. So in the military, I was like really big. So I oh. remember just you know that took a lot of time with physique and working out and bodybuilding and all that stuff. All right. So I was spending a lot of time in the gym. And then after the military, I was just doing more dance-related stuff and doing other things. And so I just wasn't doing it as often. Um, so, yeah, me, I just still I have my kettlebells at home, and then yeah. I have my pull-up stuff and my dip. And I just use that at home. I prefer doing body stuff. I'm not a, I'm not a gym person. I don't get that much gratification from going to the gym. Right. But I liked the atmosphere when I was there. Mm. So that's my experience with it. But I've always respected it. I think it's cool. I just prefer biking nowadays or going out dancing or doing well, body it's practical. Stuff. On top of that, so yeah, this is more enjoyable for me. It's just more functional, so this is what I do it for. Functional, the word I was looking for. Yeah. Cool. What about Not you? Much else, uh, what am I mean? What? Do they want to know what, what gym you at? Do they want to go find you? Well, where do I train at? Yeah, like, what kind of I, training? I, do? I, I fight. What's your experience with, with working out? I well, I was I was working out when I was uh, doing track and field. Uh huh. Power stuff, just burst of power really quickly. Uh, Get me out of trouble. I don't think I would be like a troublesome kid, but I really liked it just because it gave me something to do. Mm -hmm. And 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 as a kid that was bullied, like I was excelling there, so it was giving me confidence. And at least I was good at that stuff. You know? mm -hmm. I was not really good at school. I was not really good with people. So at least that there, I was able to perform, right? Um, then after that, I was really more. Uh, I went into fighting. Right, capoeira. I did capoeira with a couple of a couple of years. Uh, if you don't know what capoeira is, a Brazilian martial art. And I did a couple of other things, and now I'm more into Muay Thai. And I still go to the gym. Like I, I went I went back to the gym re recently. But yeah, the 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 fight. Sometimes going to the gym and even fighting sometimes is not even a fight against someone else or a competition. It's really you. Having to motivate or motivate yourself to get up and go train, even when you don't feel like it, or just surpassing yourself and your own goal. So that's always a like a, a nice thing to have a mentality. So the gym thing that I like people talking about bad, bad about gym, people that go to the gym and stuff like that, or people that just train. I'm like, yeah, it's not necessarily that. It's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird thing because I go to the gym and like I see all these ladies and the mood really changed. Like right now, people are really. Like really? the guys, the mood in the gym is weird because you had guys always walking up to you and trying to help you and stuff like that. My gym, there's a lot more women than I've ever seen in the gym ever, right? And we mind our fucking business. If you get hurt, you get hurt, and that's the thing. Oh, assholes. You're not, People, you're not trying to help. Yeah. Me, yes. Yes. Assholes. Yes. Yes. I'm disappointed in yes, you. Yes, yes. I'm disappointed in you. 100%, my guy. Um, someone's going to walk. Yeah. And someone's going to walk with, like, are, are you done with that? <laughs> are you done with that? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with it. You can use it. And that's a general feeling. I can tell you that much. That's crazy. I'll be just letting you suffer like that without helping them. So what? Like. Yeah. But I felt that the mood really changed and really quickly. A lot less people are talking. And I think it's a good thing, you know, you came here to talk. Or you came here to, to, to train, not to talk. So, carry on.